Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 43rd video in this Google Ads course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about what is audience manager and how you can use this audience manager in order to retarget and remarket in Google Ads. Also guys, this is very important video in this Google Ads course and we have told you each and everything about Google audience manager. So stay tuned with the video. Now let's move further. So guys, we have logged in into our Google Ads account and let's learn about Audience Manager. Well guys, Audience Manager is very important tool in Google Ads because all the audience which we have created after running Google Ads gets gathered in this Audience Manager. And this also helps you to remarket and retarget your audience or, or you can say helps to run remarketing ads. So in order to access your uh, Audience Manager, you just have to go to this Tools and Setting option, click on this. And then in shared library, you will be able to see this audience manager option over here. Click on this. Now let's just make you understand properly. So the first thing we are able to see is this data. Although these are totally zero, but we can see some data over here. Okay. And if we scroll a little bit down, we will be able to see more data over here, as you can see here. So these are the data which are gathering over the period of time after running our Google ads. Okay. So if in layman language, I make you understand already shown our ads. This is the audience which have already seen our ads and the data or that particular audience is getting saved over this in this audience manager platform. Okay. As you can see, we have saved over 30,000 users over here. And these are the, let me make you understand properly. These are the website visitors, which uh, the audience which have visited our website and they have done any kind of activity. They might have checked our listings. They might have checked our products. And also maybe they have added the product in the, uh, in the cart as well. Okay. So that particular audience gets saved here. As you can see here, uh, in this one, we have only 740. Okay. And in this one, we have 30,000 over 30,000 searches and in which means through search, we got 30,000 users. Okay. And through our YouTube, we got 29,000 through our display campaign. We got 27,000 and so on and so forth in this is the Gmail campaign. Okay. As you can see here. And if we scroll a little bit down, this one is one more. This is, although this is custom combination segment, but this is created automatically. This one is created by Google itself. Uh, I'll make you understand that what is custom segment audience as well. But let's just understand that how this audience are getting gathered here. Okay. Well, these are basically cookies, which we are gathering through different types of platforms. This one is search platform, which means Google search. Okay. Then YouTube, then display and Gmail campaign. So these are the platforms from which we are gathering cookies, audience cookie data in the form of this audience manager data. Okay. So I hope you understand. Now, if we scroll a little bit down, you will be able to see cart abandoners, which means the audience which have added products in their cart, but they haven't buy, they haven't uh, purchased the product. So these are cart abandoners. As I've told you earlier that they, the audience who do a, or perform any kind of activity on our website gets saved as a data in our audience manager. So this one is also a data that uh, the person or the audience who have added the product in their cart, but they haven't purchased the product. So that particular data gets saved here. And after some time, we'll show ads to those particular audience again and again in order to uh, increase the purchase or in order to increase the conversion. Okay, because this is the uh, this is kind of a hot audience and they might get a uh, convert or they might get purchased the product. Okay, then we have this one one more checkout page viewer. So this audience a bit more hot because they have added the product in their cart and they have proceed to check out as well, but they have left the checkout page without purchasing the product, which means they have just viewed the checkout page and they have leave that tab or the that particular page. Okay. So they might get convert as well. Then we have general visitors and then a uh, Google smart list. So this is from, uh, this data is coming from an, uh, analytics. So basically we connect all the Google's product with our Google ads account, like our YouTube channel, our Google analytics, our, our GA4, everything. And this helps us to create, or you can say to gather the data, which we can use in our remarketing ad campaigns. Okay. So that's how this audience manager thing works. Okay. Here is the, all the data, which you can use again and again to increase the conversion rate. And if I show you one more thing, 
this one is as you can see similar to kilo registered users so the kilo is our client which uh, the account which i'm showing you this is kilo's account okay and this is the similar audience that have registered as a user with our client which is kilo right so this is the similar audience this is not the exact audience but we have created one similar audience as well that is look alike to that particular audience who have interacted with our ads or with our website so the size of this audience is around 3 lakh here and then 2 to 3 million here and in display and that is around 10 to 50k okay so i hope you understand this one and if we go this is the data which google creates automatically which i have already shown you okay and here is the custom segment if you want to create any kind of custom segment so this is uh, here you can create the custom segment as well let's say if you are running an ad campaign in a particular landing page and the audience who are visiting your uh, particular landing page will not get automatically saved by google okay you have to create a custom segment for that particular landing page in order to save that audience over here over in this audience manager account so that you can remarket that particular audience okay also there are different different type of custom segments you can create as you can see here intent based geo which means location based timing based many more options are over here okay you just have to click on this plus icon and you will be able to create your custom audience as well then we have combined segment in the combined segment you have to understand that you can create one more new audience by combining two existing segments okay also the name is also suggesting that combined segment which means you have to or you can combine two different or two existing segments in order to create a new segment okay this is totally for experimental purposes or if you are an expert google ad a google ad expert you can use this combined segment option as well then after this segments option if we go a little bit down in this your or data insights click on this now you will be able to see all the specific data, demographic wise, location wise, device wise. So these are the data on your properties, which is your, which can be your website, which can be your YouTube channel. So these data will be, or this data is coming directly from your website or from your different kind of platforms like YouTube, your website, your landing page. Okay. Now, as you can see over here that we are seeing only all converters data, which means all the audience which have converted are showing here. And if we click on this, we will be able to see all different types of uh, segments which we can choose. Okay. So as you can see here, website visitors, customer list. Okay. If we click on this, this is the Kilol registered user. So all the users which who are registered with our uh, client's website. And if we click on this, we'll be able to see all those uh, registered users data. Okay. And in that particular data, we have around 25% males are registered and 58% males are not registered. And if we talk about female, 71% females are registered and 36% uh, females are not registered. Why this is? Because this is a clothing brand, women clothing brand. That's why 71% females are registered with our client's website. Okay. Then we have age segment over here. So as you can see here, 18 to 24, 25 to 34. So if we click on this, as you can see here, 6% of 18 to 24 audience is registered and the left 27% uh, is unregistered. So that's how you can see the data. And then here's the parental status. So this data you can see over here. The blue one is registered user and the gray one is India, which means non-registered user you can see from which we are com comparing the data. And if you scroll a little bit down in relevant segment, you will be able to see in market segment and affinity segments. So we'll create a separate video for these two different terms, but let's just understand that what is in market segment. Well, these are the audience who are interacting with our website. Okay. And, and this is not the exact audience. In market segment means this kind of the uh, audience are interacting with our website, which means with our client's website, right? So as you can see over here, these this is kind of interest, okay? So the audience who are into travel, trips by destination, trips to Asia specific, trips to India, trips to Hyderabad. So this kind of particular audience is interacting with our website. So I hope you are understanding. I hope you are getting my point, okay? And why it is helpful? Because see, if you are coming with any kind of offer or any kind of marketing campaign in future as well, so you can keep this audience uh, keep in your mind while creating the ad campaign or while creating the offer. Okay, so that's how this in-market segment can help you with your uh, marketing campaign. Okay, 
and if we go to this after demographics if we go to locations you will be able to see location wise that which countries people are interacting with your website or with your youtube channel okay so mainly we have traffic from india only and then if we go to devices we have only two devices there is no tablet over here only mobile phones mainly mobile phone and then computers okay basically majority of the audience are coming from mobile phone only if we go to your data sources here you will be able to see the properties or the sources from which we are gathering the data or our google audience manager is gathering the data so the first one is google ad stack mainly okay then we have universal analytics then we have google ga4 which means google analytics 4 and if we scroll a little bit down here are more options which we can add like another third party analytics tool okay then youtube if we have a youtube account we can connect that as well and if i talk about our trading fundas at ad, ad ad account we have connected this our youtube channel as well and if we click on this details option if you click on this button you will be able to see more detailed data over here about google tags only and in order to check the data of other platforms or i mean other properties you just have to click on that details button and you will be able to see that how much uh, hits you are getting currency hits ecom page type hits and much more so here are the parameters on the basis of which we are getting the data over here okay so that's how you use audience manager in order to retarget or remarket in google ads i hope you understood each and everything and if you still have any question or query you can comment down below i'll try to answer those questions and if you like the video you can hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye